Musketeers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Secondly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Looks at the three. Drains it. Time to pick up the defense here now. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, first player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The small forward receives the ball. Sinks the shot. Side. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. High post player flashing. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Play that back for me one time. on offense. Gant is fired up and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense. He makes the block. Xavier are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Trying to feed inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Fakes a jumper on the dribble, gives it up. Pushing up basketball. From three-point territory. Knocks it down. <laughs> Trying to go inside. There's the fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. 
problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're funny keeps the dribble as they regroup trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside he shoots from long range and it handles the pass Got a nice screen. Steals a pass. Look at that spacing. The power forward receives the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw the foul. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Kicks it out. He shoots from the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice high post screen. The shooting guard handles the feed. have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. Got it. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them. To have. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball goes out of bounds. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Unloads. That's good. They scored seven in a row. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Got a guy right on him on the pass. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Up and inside. He's got a high post flasher. Stolen away. What a great strip. Tries for two. The land. Let's take a second look. And the 
was a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Puts it up, looking for contact. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. He's open if he wants the shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Obvious foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Working it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Nice shot. And the ball goes out of play. Momentary look from three-point land on the dribble, gives it up. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. High post flashes. High post screen, gonna use it. Looking for the foul, drains the shot. And now they'll bring it up. They strip him in the basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Turnover City, though, where he's really the gate. Any offense. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Now the turnaround jump. Doesn't go. Goes and gets it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. 
Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Is getting to him, Brad. He lets it go. He gets the bucket. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He tries the three ball. It's good. about a second early. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Musketeers have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Good job defensively. Here they go into transition. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. He intercepts it. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. He makes a nice shot fake. Pitt fakes the shot for two. Can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He doesn't get the hoop. He up fakes. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. Got the shot if he wants it. The Owls have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. He's got an open look for the shot. 
Jumped in front to take it away. Fakes the shot. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. There's the trap. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Takes the pass in the paint. Newton draws the personal. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. He misses it. Grabs the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Intercepted. Gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Stolen away. And again, they look to run. Nice hops. Picked out of the air. Fast break possibility coming. Gave it up. We'll take the shot. They let him get into a rhythm. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And they get the turnover. They're off into transition. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little Marisha off in shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. They work the perimeter. Got some room. He shoots from downtown. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. He buries the shot. Move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The crowd begins to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. The Owls will step to the line for the first time. Makes his first. And he got them both. Two for one opportunity. Dump 
open inside. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here's a double team. He launches a three. Sinks it. Shot clock is dead. Double team now, bad angle. Working it around the perimeter. Up fake. Steals a pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Goes up for two. It sticks. At the half, the Owls trail by 17. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Xavier really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. with a steal, and they do. For two, with the layup. On the outside, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Watch out, five-second call approaching. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the outside, the center gets the pass. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They'll work it around the arc. He draws a foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnovers. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. There it is, Jam City. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. 
I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Inside. He gives him the fake. Moving it around the perimeter from way outside. Off the rim and no good. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. Got to control yourself. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? <laughs> to the charity strike. Gets the first shot. Free throws go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Launches away. Way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Now he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Ah, I didn't realize my partner was a high rider. <laughs> Accepts it on the dribble, gives it up. The point guard takes the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Owls have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. I think he's trying to agitate his opponent by taunting him now. And look at that, Brad. He's getting in his opponent's face. a fast break possibility. Farrell pound it, scores it, and he's fouled. So then one opportunity here. Farrell steps to the line for the first time. He missed it. He pulls it down. It's stolen. Here we go on the break for the deuce. The Owls have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard takes the feed. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Sweet makes a great move to draw the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. Have to make the free throw. Makes the second shot. That's a 9-0 run. Tries for two. And off the mark. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the base. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Takes the pass in the paint. Steal. Up and inside. In the paint. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. On the outside. And the slam. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Intercepted. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. The power forward gets the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Hit in the paint. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. A guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. Working it around the perimeter. The Musketeers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. 
And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Takes the pass in the paint. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Defense, 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 defense. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Musketeers are up by 12. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta, sinks the shot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Strips the ball. Watch this break right here. In the paint for the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. Now they work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Meeks. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. No good. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. They work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And then what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He shoots from left of the circle, drains it. Steals the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. There's a double team waiting there. Rims out. Robs him of the ball. The setter with the ball. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. This one might go down to the final buzzer. 
Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that can become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. They've left him completely alone. He dials long distance. The Musketeers lead by six. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And then what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Stolen. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. On the outside. Fakes it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets it to go. That's basic. Defense giving some room. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. That's a nice fake. And he'll kick it back outside. For two. Off the rim and no good. Stolen ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He takes it away. Has a nice look at the basket. He attempts the three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. The ball goes out of bounds. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that close position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He tries the three. Makes the shot. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He goes for the trifecta. Rims out. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He comes up empty. Up, easy one. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He 
He shoots from downtown. Can't put it down. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Action's ready to start again. the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Got it. Back in front by two. Takes away the pass. Fakes the shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. For two. Look at that shot. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. On the outside, got a wide open look. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. Shot clock is dead. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. This one is going to overtime. And the fans aren't going anywhere. They're here for the duration, baby. Don't head for the exits yet. These teams are headed into overtime. NCAA tournament, and we're in overtime. Two evenly matched teams. They've played well throughout. Extra session coming up, Richard. You can't ask for more than this. I tell you, we got two evenly matched clubs that have really responded. The PTPers are playing well. The stars, the coaches have their teams prepared. And it's all going to get down, I believe, to the free throw line at the end of this game. Picked out of the air. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. From three-point range. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Tries to get the D to bite. Pump fakes. With a jump hook. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He fires from long range. He drains it. the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Move it into the front court. He shoots from left of the circle. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Takes the pass in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Looks at a three. He gets the bucket to fall. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. With the shot. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, wide open for the shot. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Picked off. Gave it up. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. It looks like they're gonna slow the game down by fouling, Brad. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. It's good. Well, the coach doesn't like what he's seeing right now. He's called a timeout. about ready for play to resume. He takes the shot. Rims out. Now they reset the play. Basketball IQ really important. Know what a good shot is. Farrell is pumping himself up. Replay of the night, baby. Shot clock is dead. And yet another foul. 
Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Gets the second shot. They need a basket here to turn this into a two-possession game. Dick's six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He'll have one and the bonus. He makes the front end of the one and one. No doubt about it. Give yourself a chance with a score here. It's a five point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Drains it. Stops the clock again. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He goes to the line. He makes the first shot. This is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Owls played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.